Hello everyone, my name is Song Hao Yang. This is our group mate. This is Hao Wu, Ting Lei, Bo Jiazheng, Yao Huishi, and Xin Zeli. Today we are going to present the presentation of our group. Our choice, Ren, Zheng, Ren Zhengfeng, and the founder of Huawei, and Mary Barra, the CEO of General Motors, as our target. Leaders, this presentation basically includes three parts. First of all, a, a brief introduction introduction will be presented. Second of all, a brief autobiography of Ren and um, Mary Barry with by created. Uh, in the end, the analysis of this leadership styles will be provided, uh, and also a conclusion will be final give. In terms of the leadership, this is defined as a strong impact of leaders on their followers. Under the leadership, leader adopts various approach to encourage the stimulate their follower, thereby to achieve their organization goals. Also, the care of leadership in, uh, include both deep and the bonds of such leadership impact. Leadership reflects a leader's ability to influence and achieve with wide range of stakeholders in com content situation by which organization missions can be related. So in this part, we will be analyze Ren Zhengfei and Mary Barra, their leadership approaches in this case. Ren Zhengfei, the father of Huawei company, was born in 1944. In 1963, Ren, Ren graduated engineering from Chongqing University. From 1974 to 1986, uh, Ren was working for China Public. In, 19, in, 19, in 1987, he built his own business, which name is Public Technologies. The main product is communication product. In 1999, the sales volume of the company researched 12 billion China Union Yuan. The next year, business sales extend 22 billion China Union Yuan. In 2000, uh, Ren was the third rich, richest person in China by Forbes, uh, which his personal property reaches around uh, five, five mil $500 million. Dollars. In, in, in 2017, Ren was makes us the most successful business leader in China. At the same time, uh, he, he is the top 10 most successful Chinese businessman in the world. Right now, Huawei has more than 16,000 employees, which 85% of them are well-educated with British degree of high, or high degree. Ren Zhengfei pays great attention to research and development technology. Uh, every year, Huawei invested 10% 10, 10 of its sales profit uh, to technology development. More than 7,000 employees or energy in product to resource and development. Mary Barra, the first female chief uh, executive officer of General Motors, was born in America in 1961. In 1980, Barra joined the Catherine University as a joint student. He received his bachelor degree in electrical engineering in 1985. In 1980, Mary, Mary Mary Barra received her MBA from Stanford Business School. Uh, since January 15, 2014, Mary Barra officially became the CEO of GM. In 2016, she was selected to be the chairman of GM. Um, before that, Mary Barra was holding management position in GM. Uh, including global product development, uh, procurement, and the first in the most influential woman in business in the United States. Uh, by 14, the next year, she was also selected as the 14th 
Best CEO in the World, uh, by Byron Weekly, the same year she was invited to attend the 13 Shanghai Mayor International Entrepreneur Consultation meeting to offer advice and a suggestion for the uh, urban development of Shanghai. Mary Barra is also a member of the Council of Stanford University, uh, the Advisory Committee of Stanford Business School, and the Advisory Committee of Tsinghua University of Economics and the Management, serving as a co-chairman of the Automatic Driving uh, advisory committee of the U.S. Department of Transportation. Now let us focus on the analysis of the leadership styles. Uh, my partner will show you the following contact. First of all, I will analyze this leadership style of Ren Zhengfei. I think that Ren's leadership style is transformational leadership style. Uh, transformational leadership uh, underline their visionary position and try to inspire forests during toward the same organization vision. Special is leaders' ability to foresee the business potentials and uh, opportunities from a long-term perspective. Um, next slide will give some special examples that uh, reflect the transformational leadership of Ren. Um, focus on Ren uh, in 1996, many Chinese, uh, many Chinese companies as they are looking for uncertain development opportunities. Uh, in uh, Ren Zhengfei began to draft and uh, promote the best code law of Huawei, which clearly uh, defines the company's mission, vision, business, philosophy, uh, talent, concept, core value, and uh, other programmatic uh, docu document, documents and let uh, um, uh, determine the long-term development of enterprises. It's, uh, it is first time for Chinese private, uh, private companies try to find make a long term growth of the bicycle industry. So in nineteen ninety seven, Ren Zhengfei began to stand the HR machines, uh, which made Huawei carry out all round the reform, aiming to fight the organizational vision. So Ren Zhengfei through uh, Huawei um, successfully transformed his ideas into the common goal and the direction. Conducting more than uh, 18,000 employees in the company. So uh, under such leadership, employees uh, uh, get uh, inno innovate and uh, uh, go to the global market. So in addition, uh, in addition, transformational leadership also have a characteristic in motivating, uh, which means that uh, transformational leaders can create excitement points in the organization, which can also help individuals discover the value and the excitement of work and life. So, Ren uh, Zhengfei published the over uh, 40 articles uh, which are related of Huawei, which each uh, article reflects the person, personal values and uh, world view. Uh, recently, Ren wrote the uh, letter of employees in Huawei. That was organization, that was uh, Originally uh, written in 1994, and uh, suggested that the common values system and the vision of Huawei was the uh, established and a uh, uh, corporate culture that service and uh, 
and uh, uh, the uh, country and uh, all over the world. So learn uh, learn is a bit able to uh, work, work like uh, corporate culture in Huawei in inspire employees. Uh, this corporate this corporate culture especially provides strong better guidance uh, to the younger generation and uh, brings a uh, brings plan to join Huawei. Learn served the Emmy for a year and uh, still carries a strong personal character uh, characteristic. So personal characteristic can express the follower to better fighting for the future. So learn is a relation of Huawei, which also universal uh, employees of Huawei. So next part is will be my partner. Thank you. Besides that, transactional no. leadership style can be also found in Zen. Transactional leaders get along with the sub subordinates in a contractual transaction mode. Uh, leaders understood the needs of some uh, boarding needs and uh, make uh, clear rewards uh, the mechanism to fulfill the extraneous needs of the subordinates when they achieve organizational goals. For instance, different uh, salary levels for different business achievements or additional rewards. Uh, what is the worst mission is that these rewards are mostly financially related. Under transaction leadership, subordinates need uh, to obey orders and uh, <clears throat> listen to instruction and uh, complete uh, um, tasks necessary to get rewards. In this process, the leader will provide necessary working results and guidance to make uh, subordinates work hard. The next slide will also show some examples. Then understand the importance of reward style to uh, <coughs> stimulate and to the employees, especially in 1990s, Chinese was still in an early stage of economic uh, and development as a, a well-established reward system played an extremely crucial role in inspiring the followers. Such uh, then promised the unswearing uh, incline to excellent uh, employees, especially uh, rewards was positively associated with employees' skills, abilities, and contributions. Outstanding employees can reach uh, rewards. In addition, then committed to uh, distribute the equities. The number of shares held by employees is also based on the personal contribution, performance, and commitment to Huawei. Here shows the annual salary of Huawei's engineers in different levels. Today, Huawei is still adopts such um, approaches to facilitate a wide range of excellent uh, employees in Huawei, uh, integrated with the concept, the effective reward ma mechanism established by Zhen Zhenfei helped and still is helping them gain long-term community, community <coughs> Uh, community meant high level of work efficiency from the employees, which is a type the um, a typical the behavior of a transaction leader. Besides that, then can also identified as an asonic um, leader. A sonic leadership is more likely to gain trust from the follower as. Uh, such type of leaders in in how uh, honest, candidate, 
fearless and empathy, um, accountability and optimism. For them, uh, when <coughs> he adopts traditional leader approaches, then also has his own leadership style, then often personally make design and revise matters. On the other hand, Huawei has determined his power and let subordinates to make uh, designs on their own. In addition, authentic leadership in, in the uh, strong self awareness then understood his uh, strengths and weakness, then constantly expressed that he didn't have a burden knowledge as a leader, then often made a critical reaction about himself, which is also the feature of authentic um, leadership style. Then the leadership uh, tributes him, help himself gain trust for the uh, subordinates. Uh, firstly, Mary Barra also reflects uh, uh, transformational leadership uh, style in her management. Uh, specifically, she is very good at uh, uniting the uh, idealist uh, influence to stimulate uh, her employees. Uh, idealist uh, influence signifies uh, focus on the long-term uh, goals, uh, enhancing the vision of development, uh, encouraging employees to facilitate the innovative ability and changing and uh, um, adjusting the whole organizational system to create a positive uh, uh, um, uh, software for the realization of the expects goals. Now I will give some example to further illustrate it. Uh, since Mary Barra was uh, opted uh, as the CEO of GM, uh, she's uh, adopted uh, a considerable number of uh, measurements uh, that uh, demonstrate uh, her ambitions, creating a bigger picture for GM. The fact that about uh, 1.25 million people died because of the car accident every year was one of the concerns in here. In her further plan, uh, Mary Barra once stated that uh, she was uh, hoping to uh, decrease this uh, horrible death number to zero by developing the automobile technique in GM. While most of the leaders in the world are trying to increase their sales as much as possible, uh, Mary Barra went uh, public and uh, analysis that GM uh, had uh, the ability to achieve zero car ascent, zero emissions, and zero traffic. Uh, such uh, behaviors uh, deploy stimulate uh, the employees in GM and uh, made the employees see the future of this company. Besides on this, the signs of transformational leadership style can be found through her behaviors. As discussed before, transformational leadership sees the bigger picture and the dial to face the uh, future challenges. To be more specifically, uh, leading by Mary Barra GM uh, analysis that uh, in World Launch 20 new battery uh, electric uh, virtues. Uh, moreover, GM is now making great uh, effort uh, to develop a uh, uh, technique technology and uh, in introduce uh, SFI, uh, automatic drying virtues to reduce traffic issues in umber cities. This is highly matching with the idealist influence of transformational leadership style. Additionally, Mary Barra also often utilized a transitional leadership approach to stimulate the working illustrative of the employees in GM in order to uh, aid GM to gain higher organizational performance. Uh, for instance, she embraced a win-win concept. 
uh, Ms. Barra believed that only by giving employees the same value in return can more people be uh, motivated to join changing the company's future. Her concept of why the distribution has become a solid weapon uh, for the general uh, implementation uh, strategy grossing the strength of all employees to achieve performance goals at each stage. Uh, transitional leadership is widely accepted in many organizations and making significant effects on organizational performance. Okay, uh, well, my next partner uh, to provide your the following content. In addition, Mary Barra reflects a servant leadership style, which stresses being modest, authentic, gender, and altruistic. As a female leader, Mrs. Barra not only shows the rigidic, rigidity in her leadership style, but also shows some typical female features, such as modesty, capability of enduring hardships and hard work. In the book, How GM's Mary Barra Shattered the Glasses Ceiling, uh, the author, Lara Kobe, described a Mary Barra as a great female leader who always had strong commitment to GM. It has to mention, since Mary Barra graduated graduated from Stanford a Business School when she was 18 years old. She never attempted to find a better job in other companies like, like others did at that time. Instead, um, she worked hard and continuously improved herself until 2014. She became the CEO of the giant company. She insisted that the interests of the organization go beyond personal interests. To be more specific, in 2016, Mrs. Barra made a speech in Stanford Business School. She stated that as an enterprise leader, whether in the government, no-profit organization, non-governmental um, non organization, or any other institutions, a leader is always responsible to help improve the relationship between enterprise and a wide range of audience, improving the word of mouth among the publics. She also insists that GM was capability of achieving that, taking care of their customers as a start point. She believed that only when customers can see the achievements, can enterprise call themselves successful. The charm of the servant leadership is to consider themselves as servant and then a leader. A long-term renewal of life and work is the essence of servant leadership, the behavior and thoughts of Mary Barra have illustrated the curve of the servant leadership. Mrs. Mary is always an authentic leader. Authentic leader can be greatly self-regulated, which keeps um, consistency in her actions values and words. Mary Barra has always faced challenges in her leadership role, including a recall of 3 million cars due to a 40 ignition, ignition switch and airbag in recent years. In order to be consistent with her commitment to the society zero car accident, she firmly accepted and solved the problem of the of their automobile failure. She stated that GM was an and would be 
always committed to undertake their own responsibility and to fulfill their so, uh, social responsibility through this way. Mary Barra established a positive mode for all of their um, employees in GM, earning their trust and commitment with her authentic behaviors. In conclusion, you should know that leadership has become an extremely important component for a business management, for business pra practitioners. Uh, basically, it can be found that uh, from Ren, we can explore three leadership styles, which include transactional leadership. She embarrasses the idea of providing his employees with abundant rewards and in exchange of their loyalty and commitment for Huawei. And trans transformational leadership style, Ren has a long-term perspective and able to Im embed his long-term vision into the minds of his employees. And authentic leadership. Ren is able to appropriately decent uh, decentralize his power to, to his support, subordinates to earn their trust for, um, from, from employees. He also holds a critical thinking about his own strengths and weaknesses. Mary Barra, um, she, she reflects trans transformational leadership. She personally holds bigger pictures for the future development of GM. For example, zero traffic, zero car accident, and zero emission inspiring um, her followers to to gear to, um, towards his com, um, common vision transaction transactional leadership she stresses win-win situation and believe that employees deserve what they have worked for servant leadership mrs Barra has strong loyalty for GM. She also think, thinks their basic goal is to serve the customers and the society. Significantly, emphasizing uh, GM's social responsibilities. That's all. Thank you. Due to the time limitation, here we only demonstrate part of the references. We will be happy to share more if you are interested. This is the end of our presentation. Thank you for your time.